everybody. Welcome back to Skyrim Special Edition. Um, we're gonna get back into our game from earlier. Um, so last time we left off, we got to the Clockwork Castle. Uh, talked with a couple of the automated uh, caretakers, and now we're going to continue on with that. Um, so we are hunting currently for Ludwig's Journals, which was the original owner of the Clockwork Castle. I found one. We're gonna go. We're gonna look through it really quick, and then we're gonna go find the other two before we get too far into the rest of the things. I took it back. So God damn it! Uh, third, third of evening, snar four e sixteen. Uh, today we lay my father to rest in the mausoleum. It is a strange feeling, knowing that a shell just lies there alone, and that at any time I could go look upon it as if you were still here. Instead, I shall honor his wish and begin the keeping of his journal, as past him I did. He certainly proud of me to have for long enough. Could this first entry be a commemoration of, my, of father's life? I lack the words to adequately describe him. I think his achievements are familiar to most everyone. Known as the Lodvec Freighting Company. Oh, oh, to most everyone. Uh, yeah, I'm having a stroke. The achievements are familiar to most. Everyone knows the Lodvec Freighting Company. Um... This is a, there's little I could add and less that would be of interest, I'm sure, coming from me. I can say, however, that he shall be missed. We commend thee and lay thee to rest, Maximilian Clodebeck, father. Uh, tenth of Morning Star, e, 4E17. It occurs to me that for this journal to be of any use to anyone, I should explain who I am. My name is Ludwig Clodebeck, now Lord of Clodebeck Castle, I suppose. Lord of a trade route to nowhere. It barely entered my thoughts as a child, as I have no memory of living anywhere else, but our castle is truly remote. It was Father's grand project, a new trade route between Skyrim and Morrowind, administered by the Clodebeck Company alone. A fool's project is what they called it. How could it replace the Sea of Ghosts route? They would ask. One of the phenomenal expanse and tunneling under the mountains, said others, but Father's plan was more simple. Why forge a new path when one when one can reclaim an old one. Tovald crossing was too dangerous and too far south in any case. The mysterious tunnels that Father set his mind a considerable fortune to, and he never did reveal how he knew of them, were not too far from the port in Windhelm. He knew no name for these tunnels since they went beneath the Velothi Mountains. He and all the workers came to simply call them the Velothi Tunnels. Clearing the way was, too, was dangerous, but the work involved was relatively slight. These tunnels emerged in a small valley uh, high in the mountains before plunging beneath the rocks again down to, to Morrowind. Ludwig Castle was built in this valley, a gatehouse in the center of the would-be trade route. That's how I grew up, observing the construction of our castle, watching and pestering the builders, stonecutters, carpenters, and smiths. Tools and machines fascinated, hammers and saws, pulleys and levers. I relished seeing the walls go up, the rooms take shape. Um, Father was more keen on the furnishings they had to match the latest fashion and far away high rock that, that was home to him and to mother. I was too young to remember it well, but they are distinctive. Everything went wrong in the red year. Not merely for us, of course, it was the death of so very many, but that was when the tunnel down to Morwen fell in, killing the workers inside. It was the end of Father's grand project, even our if our route had survived, the people of Morwen did not. There was no one left to trade with. Mother died not long after along with my sister who along with my sister who would have been so much went wrong the castle was nearly complete by then and though again people called him mad father elected to have it finished certainly some things were called off cut short i think the armory was really intended to be an, another grand entrance hall leading into quarters for prestigious guests a ballroom and such but still it became clodbit castle our home my aunts and uncles always said that father never recovered from those days why else would he choose to stay in the place that had come to represent his very dear failure? Father may have founded it, but they took on the running of Clodvec Company from then on. My siblings meant to take up the business also, or so they informed me during their brief visit to inter our father. They may have been anxious to leave the castle once they were old enough. Uh, they could not stand the isolation, but I, of course, remained here with father and the staff. I remember I was sorely disappointed when the last of the construction came to a close. Some of the carpenters and smiths had treated me almost as an apprentice, but then they had to leave, and there was nothing more to do. Father had noted, an itch, noted my interest in intricate mechanics, though, and diverted them into a trade 
in intricate jewelries. This is not exactly what I wanted, but it suits me well enough, and I can labor at home in the castle. It is also very profitable. Well, there you have it, I suppose. Lord Ludwig Clodebeck, the jeweler. All right. Sorry for my horrible reading voice, but we'll go with it. All right. Uh, I'm going to go find the... I'm going to... Wait here. Wait in the room. Don't crumble at me. Fuck off. You. Wait here. Wait in this room. Don't leave this fucking room. Come with me, Zora. I wonder if there's any expanded dialogue options for Skyrim. I know that, uh, that uh, uh, the AI stuff from Eleven Labs have be has become pretty popular recently. Okay, um... Normal part two this way. Mage, Mage study, nice. This will be a great fucking castle for me. It's a Mage study and everything? Fuck yeah. I mean, steam. This is dope. The gold. That. There's a specimen cabinet for alchemical ingredients. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck is this? Make my bust. Anyway, um. Two receptacles. Oh, to get. Oh, nice, 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 nice. And here's the second journal. Twelfth of last seed for E17. Now the father is gone. They pester me to the, to expand the mausoleum in readiness for my eventual passing. Next in line. Next in line to die. Fine. I shall order the excavation. Fourth of rain's hand for E18. It is like turning over a rock and finding the twisting tunnels of an ant nest exposed to the sky, yet here the inhabitants did not scatter or erupt in panic. They merely stood and stared with those red pinprick, pinpricks for eyes. Seventh of rain of rain's hand, 4018. I should explain. In expanding the mausoleum, the workers broke through into some ancient catacombs of the Dwemer. They were beneath our feet, beneath the castle all this time. Perhaps it should not be too surprising. The lovely tunnels are home to some Dwemer ruins also. It is also strange, though. Where do I begin? I've read about Dwemer... Um, any munculi, all I could lay my hands on, as those were some of my favorites. But I have never seen any mention of what we found here. The workers called me down there, like, called me down when they were about to breach the wall, and there we all stood, clustered around the hole. On the other side was our mirror image, a congregation of metal men staring back at us with their glowing red eyes. I was afraid. We all were. But while the workers of the mausoleum, I remained frozen in place, expecting our imminent death as a significant shock, but an even greater surprise awaited me. A metal woman came forward and spoke. She spoke to me. At first, her words were unrecognizable. Was it the Dwemer language? Then she spoke in Cyrodiilic that was slow and halting. No harm, she said. I could manage no response. No harm, she said again. But this time... The metal men and women behind her. Now she stands here in the study with me, reading the books. I think she asked for them. I brought her here on the day of the breach, but I have forgotten what we spoke of. I said a lot in my panic, and she said very little. It all happened so quickly. Her brethren have all remained but behind, down below, but she has not left the study. She is looking at me. Twelfth of Rain's Hand, 418. Her name is Lamashtu. Her progress in learning Cyrodiilic is astonishing. She reads my books and listens to the conversation of the staff, and, I are, and already I can converse with her easily. The servants are not glad to have this audience, though. That much is clear. They are plainly afraid of what we have uncovered, but it is just as just as plain to me that these metal men mean us well. No harm, as Lamashu said. Lamashu was promised to show me Nurnderal, for that is the name of the Dwemer catacombs beneath us. Actually, she has said that she will have her, I suppose, brother, Lahar, show it to me. Think she wants to stay in her study. Oh, stay in the study. She says that she and her middle brother are called the Gilded, but I am as, as of yet unsure what they are exactly. Apparently, they have always been beneath our feet and have never ventured out. They do resemble tiny monkey That is all I can say. I realize more and more each day that the discovery of the Gilded is a monumental one. Lamashu has requested, requested privacy. I'm not sure of her reasons, but I can certainly think of my own. Do I any monkey lay are known to be generally hostile and quite dangerous. I dread the thought of what might happen if some kind of military attention fell on them. The staff may spread tales. How could I stop them? But I've heard how they speak of this discovery. I doubt anyone will believe the particulars of their tales. They will be thought of just as that. Tales. First of second seed, 418. 
the resources have been found in the resources to be found in Nurnderal have are beyond my ability to count or really value. In particular, that wonderful metal, that famous dwarven metal that confounds all who try to unlock the secrets of, of its fabrication. I did put the question to Lamashtu, but I am no smith or alchemist, is all she, she would say. She has answered many of my questions about the truly amazing machines down there, though. I can barely sleep. It feels like my mind is on fire with possibilities. Lahar is taking to his new job well, too. After showing me some of Nurnderal, he followed me back up to the castle. I did not mind. Even to begin with, he was almost as well spoken as Lamashtu, I think. But she, uh, she, she, I think she must have been teaching him, or perhaps he already knew. Much like Lamashu had, Lamar, Lahar began to follow the staff and observe their work, to their visible chagrin. Before long, he expressed an interest in taking up the role of caretaker of the castle. Already, he is invaluable. He is careful, quick, and most remarkably, does not appear to need or want for sleep. My studies, uh, 22nd of 2nd C, 4E18, um, 4th Era, 18th Year. Uh, my studies of Nunderol's machines consume my attention, as do my plans regarding what I learned from them. I took to Lamash, I took to Lamash, who is representative of that domain and her kind. Besides Lahar, who is agreeable if simple, she is the only one able to, per or perhaps willing to speak with me. The other merely stare as I pass and ignore my attempt at conversation. I asked her permission to sell what scrap metal could be found lying broken and useless in the halls of Nurnderal for use in my own works. However, impassive. However, in passive her manner, she did agree. This is tremendously exciting. The metal can be melted down and reshaped as I desire, and there is much of it to be had. I go to work. 25, 25th of mid-year 418, the mausoleum has become a thoroughfare. Metal warped scraps and whole pieces both is carted out of Nurnderal into the workroom. My small groups gilded and the casting mold await. Things are taking shape. Alright, so I feel like <clears throat> he's gonna turn into a thing where uh, it's too good to be true and he's gonna fuck up somehow or uh, maybe Lamashu lied to him. I am also level 9 here so I may die horribly multiple times. I know I will shit myself during the last playthrough because I'm having a fucking panic attack. Did this go all the way up? Nice. Go to the glass gardens. Oh, this is so fucking dope. I can't wait to come back here and turn on all the lights and shit. And then last but not least, normal part three. Why is it over here on the ground though is the question. <laughs> okay. Head label reads master bedroom wardrobe. All right. Uh, first of Sun's Height, 418, the staff are all leaving. This has been building for some time. It's their fear of the Gilded. More and more of, them, of her number are effectively taking up residence at the castle as they help with my work. As with Lamashtu and Lahar, they also took to observing the staff in their daily tasks. Never speaking, just watching. I think it all became too much. Perhaps it's for the best. I'm told that the company is not doing well. Less money is, is coming in. In truth, it is a relief. I never knew what to say to them anyway. Even to... Tanelise, she was always kind to me. She, she actually asked me to tell you as well. That's not something I can do though, especially not now. I could have sworn that she looked disappointed. It would it would be nice to think of why that might be, but that can't be it. It must be my imagination. I still still it is sad to think that I will likely not see her again. In any case, Lamashti was quick to print, point out that the staff are not even truly required any longer, now with her brethren being here and able to take up the work. Today I offered to pay them all a wage for this work, but Lamashti declined, saying that all they needed was something to occupy them. Lahar echoed this, this sentiment. I suppose I'll have to take them at their word. No, the brethren will speak to me after all. Third Hearthfire 4E20. <clears throat> Behold the common tapper spigot. The pipes of cast metal to ferry the water the appropriated dwarmer pump and the steam to make it up go steam steam under pressure it all make it makes it all go now i have i have water to turn at, at the turn of a tap heated water even that dormer boiler was perfect for the task 23rd of first seed 4021 today i have heard that clodvec trading company was no more by accounts it, it was in a slow decline since the red year and mother's death but now it has finally happened we all have our share of the remaining wealth and is not insubstantial. 
I do not have to worry for myself or my remaining family. Indeed, I have continued my jewelry business all, all this time, even overseeing some of the gilded and creating additional pieces. <clears throat> some things need to be arranged, but overall, this is nothing to fret over. Things here won't change. Uh, fifth, fifth of Rain's Hand, 4E21. Can't abide first time meetings. Can anyone? No one knows what to say to, to one another. Who are you? I would say, what is it that you do? By which, of course, they mean please describe your quantifiable worth to society in a short sentence. Sixth of Frost Fall, 421. Father's beautiful glass garden perched atop the castle never did function as he wanted. It would never hold the warmth of the plants needed. It all leached out into the frigid mountain air, and the plants froze and died. Now that I could tap into that seemingly endless supply of pressurized steam produced by some unknown means deep in Nunderal, the glass garden is finally warm and uh, as warm and vaporous as I could ever want. 14th of Sun's Dawn, 4E23. An amazing discovery today, though I would not have known it if not for the mosh In excavating a new room for the cellar, the worker struck what appears by its gr great curve to be a great metal sphere, rubber metal. Like everything down here, like everything down there, but unlike any other items of former manufacture I have yet seen, Lamashu came to look at it, and it seems that she, she recognizes it. After some thought, she, she said, It has been called a machine for far walking without steps, a rough translation, I think. And I'm simply calling it the travel machine for now, as it is appropriately what it is for, teleporting one to far, far off locations and back again. She speaks of it as if of a barely remembered thing from one's childhood. But Lamashu tells me that the machine is like a crossroads with paths striking out in many directions from it. At the end of each road is a terminus machine, and this is where one would appear upon entering the traveling machine here. Similarly, entering a terminus machine would bring one back here. I have asked for the workers to uncover the spear in its entirety. This is very exciting. Fuck, this is a lot of reading. Okay, we're not going to read all this. My fucking throat is killing me. Holy shit, it keeps on going. Oh, here we go. Um, 15th of mid-year, 4E35. This morning I woke I awoke to find that all the gilded excepting Lamashtu and Lahar have, have left during the night. Lahar says they all returned to Nurnderal. To be honest, I am relieved. I was beginning to feel like a prisoner in my own home. I dared not enter a room if one of the workers was in there doing their chores. I don't know how to properly describe it. For some time now, they've exuded a sense of menace that I feel in danger around them. Fortunately, Clockwork Castle has earned its name with all the work I have done here. All the labor-saving machines, the workers are no longer needed. Lahar is more than enough, after all. There is no great entourage here to feed and clothe, and clothe nor mothers, fathers, children, and dogs. There is just me. Only me. So he went through... Okay, so what I feel like is... Um, he went through a weird, like... I think, he, I think he mentally broke down after a while. I mean, I would too. Especially with the workers slowly going mad. Uh, I would definitely start, like, having a mental breakdown. <clears throat> I also, I, I would remove all these fucking paintings. What's up, bugs? Oh, there's one. Oh, we found him. Fucking level. Okay. Um, an awful. Okay. Fifth of Sun's Height, 4E37. An awful realization has been in my in, been my thoughts lately, or rather, an, or rather than a realization, a question. If I were to die, say, of some accident in the workroom, how long would it be until I was found? The answer, I think, is that the longer I stay here out of the world, the more any knowledge or memories of me will fade from those out there and the longer it would be until I was found tending towards infinity and almost it's almost mathematical um, it is, occurs to me that I'm so accustomed to the use of machines in clockwork castle I can scarcely imagine life without them and yet do devices like these exist anywhere else they can improve the lives of others too but would anyone accept them what real use would these contraptions be I would ask, or how could we possibly afford to build such ext extravagances? And yet, I spend all, all my days in the workroom, crafting machines and objects of utility and beauty. Perhaps one day, when I have done enough, when I finish, I can show it all to someone. Um, 14th of Frostfall, 
four e thirty fifty three. I cannot remember the last time I actually spoke aloud. Once there was so much to say, so much to learn of Lamashtu, and so much to organize with Lahar. Now though everything is settled, every moment runs into the next with precision and predict predictability of a perfect machine. Every day is exactly the same. There's nothing more to say. When was the last time I spoke to someone from outside the castle? Someone not made of metal. It must have been around when the travel machine was completed. Has it really been so long? I don't know if that I could raise my voice anymore. Not even to save my life. I don't want to be heard. I don't want it to be heard. 29th of first seed. They warm. They're warm to the touch, aren't they? Uh, am I not warm? I'm not sure the lady in the walls. They're all so cold. Uh, first of hearth fire. Clockworks driven by soul gems, marking time for eternity. Are they aware? What do they see with no eyes? What do they feel with no skin? Uh, seventh of mid year. Does the mind require other words to inform its thoughts? Do they otherwise reflect back uselessly and endlessly, unchanged, an echo chamber? But I say nothing. Could I still speak? I dare not speak. I do nothing but sit here in this chamber, the cobwebs growing around me, and the dust staining my skin. I could not bear the, their eyes upon me, and the weight of judgment behind those eyes would be too much as well. I think I shall simply stay here instead. This, there is a feeling rising in me that my time here is growing short. It is obvious to me that I should note down my last will, but then there is no one to give it to at all. And I have nothing to offer in any case. Who would want what I have? I don't want to reflect on my life. It was no good. Really, it's no good. Surely, though, it was better than nothing. So he basically fell into a state of just total and utter uh, despair, I think. All right, so sorry guys, my game fucking crashed. One second. Make sure that OBS is working. Yep. Okay. What the fuck? Here. What are you doing? you. Okay. You're still here. Oh. I see. Yes. Then you can stay. It is simple. You are trapped here. Therefore, you cannot leave here. Therefore, you must live here. I'm, I'm good. I don't want to. I don't want to stay here. Children wrote their names upon the world. 
Uh, okay. So I think that makes sense. Sorry. Very well. Goodbye. Finished. Follow me. I need you guys. Mainly because I need, like, emotional support bugs. So. I have a idea of what happened, basically. So, I don't know if any of you played Warhammer 40k, but, um, there is a empire. So, uh, just long story short, when one of the gods of the material realms was destroyed, um, what it basically did uh, was curse a race of metal men, basically, fucking like Necrons, um, with uh, like a, a, a lot of their souls began to warp, like drastically, aggressively, and they became basically uh, metallic zombies, which is a horrifying thought. But, um, best way to put it, the, they became metallic zombies. Okay. Um, so that's what I kind of think what happened. If she's the third child, then her memory is more solid, it's more substantial. Um, if Lahar is the second child, um, he basically became a little bit simpler, but he was still there, I guess you could say mentally. Whereas with the, with the, I can get out of my way, with the, with uh, the first children, I do, do not, with the first children, which I think, I believe were the original, uh, their memory got washed away and so they became more feral. Almost like a, how uh, the snow elves became um, the Falmer, you know what I mean? I, God damn it. Um, it's not exactly the same thing as the Necron, but that's what kind of reminded me of was um, instead of like instead of their souls being changed a little bit or like their their mental imagery being warped a slight bit, instead their whole like their whole being just disappeared. They became feral beasts. Fuck you. Nope. Sorry. Career fucking takes the job seriously and now got stuck here. Good job, dumbass. Hope my knight actually protects me, doesn't fucking kill me. Um. A little shit. Hoping that my elemental ability uh, affects the Dwemer. I doubt it will, so we'll see what happens. Okay, pair of steam pipeline. Steam pipelines there's ten of them fuck I right, agree oh that's creepy fuck That was easier than I thought. Alright, also I'm sorry if my voice is quieter, I'm getting tired.
Random storage room, that's cool, I guess. Looking for... Okay, come on. Come this way. There you go. Fuck it, okay. Looking for burst pipes. Let's see if we a little bit farther in. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, what the fuck? There they are. One. That was really fucking easy. Level up, then Christ, Medica. Destruction. Force of nature. Uh, I have a different one that was better. Oh yeah, raw power. I need to do more of those to be dope. Uh, for now, we will do. Force of nature. Alright. No. Takes quite a bit of magic to do this. I'm assuming that I can just oh, there. You just fucking just beat the shit over. Good job, man. Okay, there's dwarven arrows and the dwarven bow. Thank you. I'm sure you can sell those pretty surprise. That's horrifying. I guess I have to go find more parts. Oh. Ow. Yeah. That fucking hurt. Okay, um, my own wheel. Go to the backbone hollow, I guess. There it is, yep. Are there any more of these? Pickaxe. Other leather strips. Anything else in here? Nope. Nope. Oh, there's a chest. Let me see if I can open this one. Time. Oh, crossbow, nice. Alright. I'm assuming what needs to essentially happen is that I'm gonna have to go through every single area and find a pipe and fight something. Which is fine, it adds more interesting spice to it. It's just very straightforward. Pipeline, restore pipeline, so I got one right there, got one behind me. Maybe another fucking thing up here that I can use? Like a piece of pipe? Nope. Oh, well, though. 
we do that. There's a pipe over here, fuck yeah, maybe. Oh, it's a, it's a weird little puzzle crawler bullshit thing. <laughs> that is a great fucking callback to fucking Dark Souls. Oh my god. We need to be, be Elden Ring. We have not beaten that game yet. exploring a lot of this shit. I'm assuming the pipes are nearby. Like, each new area will have a pipe or set the pipes in them. Hmm. Just keeps on going down there. Holy fuck. Alright, we'll go to the mortal lair first and see what we can find. Dumb little fucking insects. What the fuck is this place? It just keeps on going, holy shit. It's maybe a thing where we're here for a while, like in this recording series. Kind of wouldn't surprise me. Oh, what's up? Yep, pipe. I bet there's more somewhere else. Unlock, bitch. Oh, okay, never mind. That was great. Good job, buddy. Eh, he had fucking folded. Or in boots. What's a random potions?
Oh, fuck. We're good now. She's Chris. Two of the big things of piping. Well, I'm opening up all the gates. I'm trying to see if there's anything more. I don't know why I jumped. No clue why I did that. Can I help you? I'm glad to lend a hand. Hey, buddy. Centurion Dynamo Core, fuck yeah. More pipes, that's three that's three of them now. These are kind of a uh, same, aren't they? I get why though. I mean, imagine living for basically eons and never dying. Some bullfuckery, what it was. Uh, my healing potion, thank you. My healing potion, thank you. Weird little buffet area. It's like a restaurant, that's cool. There you go, buddy.
God damn it, come on, open up. Lesser soul gem, that's not great, but sure. Mortal air birth, see what's there. More piping, that's four. Maybe who of me to move from uh, that to something like Crackle or, or Thunderclap? Uh, Lightning Bolt. Of those instead. Give me some tongs. Um. Mm -hmm. We'll find the piping. There we gotta go. That was ass. Bottom floor really quick. Check that thing. So we have, I think, four of them so far. So we've been ten, so we're at eight. That's nine. I can just find all the pipes here and then just use those, that'd be great. What would suck is if it, like, it deleted them in my inventory and had made me had to come back. Every time. Ah, Chris. We'll check this area. I don't know. Good enough. Minor magica. Anything else over here? Any more areas to look? We have one. What does this lead to? Head back up soon. Store really quick or anything useful. Nothing. And basically, like my goal as a caster to support my fighters so that I don't have to get into the thick of it and be able to one shot certain things. Okay, gotta head back up. Jesus.
I got all the elements, fuck yeah. So we're heading back up now. We should, I think we have enough funnels. I think we have like, we have three done and I, as far as I saw we had over not uh, over nine of these things attained, obtained, probably. Like maybe seven. Still a lot. I don't know sometimes. Fuck off. Oh, okay, dope. Those are all taken care of, it seems. Okay, head back up now. Heading up, do 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 do. Hello. Oh. Check over here, see if there's a pipe somewhere. Nope. Nice, okay. Do not push me off, you little shit. I'm in the mortal lair. I'll cross here and see if there's a pipe that's busted. Right there. Six. So that pipe is done, we're gonna go sell all those up there, I think. Get rid of it up there. Guys, let me get if I can get this done, it'd be great. Nine, and here's ten. Fuck yeah, we got him done. I do not have all the god damn it. Oh, here to look for another piece. I thought I fucking had.
last few minutes of this is just us like running around looking for a fucking piece of pipe and be frustrated. Oh fuck. Palpatine, bitch. Good old Palpy. Oh, this is the original area towards the mausoleum. Anything? Nope. Okay. I'm gonna go back over and see if we can find another fucking pipe piece. God damn it. I was hoping to fucking find them all. Nope. Run all the way back up to repair this thing after I get to find the last piece. That'll kill me. Been over there, I think, to a degree. Okay, we're gonna go back up and check the mortal area one more time before heading down further. a pipe in here somewhere. This will be a pipe in here. Attack him, dude. Come on. Christ. Oh, there it is. Fuck yes. Okay. Did it. Alright, we're heading back the way you came. I'm gonna go activate it, see what's on top of the bridge, and then leave. Well, see what's down below on the on that one bridge, the uh, the one that goes across the lava. And we'll lead, we'll head back towards the mansion, I think. Take a plan. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. I'm trying to like, speak into the mic. And enunciate a little bit better. Nice, okay, we're gonna go see what's across the bridge, then we're gonna bounce. Getting close to the end of our recording.
gonna take your suits across that bridge and then we're gonna bounce. My magic skill is better than yours, suck a dick. Anything new with the Drummer Forge, or is it just all the same shit? All the same shit, okay, dope. Was that fucking Christ? That was annoying. Actually, flow and see if there's a way out. Key, all right. Be careful. Thanks, buddy. Interesting, interesting store room. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? I found out where the fucking uh, steam comes from. Jesus Christ. Interesting. I like how the uh, That's pretty really cool. Back all the way up the stairs. What the fuck? Oh shit, they're waking up. That's not good. Shit, 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 come on. Fuck. Unsettling as fuck. Fuck 
with me. I did not. That's why I'm leaving. Oh my god, it actually freaked me out. Give me goosebumps. I'm good. Doesn't uh help oh, me out at all, but sure, I guess we'll call good for now. Uh, that makes me unsettled it. even more so. Looks like that's it. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, friend. Okay. Um Very well. Here is what I have access to. Well, temp chance of her shouts cool down. Health falls below fifty percent. Ebony Eastern Maze, you can give me ebony shit, Jesus. Nothing else? I got any potions you can give me? Potion healing? Thank you. Potion of magic, huh? Potion of stamina. Let's see what kind of parts, like what you can show me. Oh, the armory. Oh, I probably could have just looked for the armory and shit.
All right. This is an armory. Fuck yeah. It out. Okay. You even have them like labeled. That's fucking fantastic. You know how happy that makes me. Dark Great Sword. We'll throw a battle axe in there. Light armor, okay. By a lot, that's not bad. Very nice. All right, we're gonna call here. We're in like an hour and like 15 minutes. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, please throw a like, comment, subscribe down below. It helps me out in the long run. I truly really do appreciate all your guys' support. It makes me really happy. Hopefully you guys have been able to hear me throughout this. I've been slowly getting quieter because I'm getting tired, more tired. Um, I'll take some time to explore this and then start sorting out my items so I'm not having to worry about weight and stuff. Uh, with that being said, I will see you all on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I hope you all enjoyed those videos, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good night, guys. And now you hit my heart with the speed.